Welcome to Guess or Mess, the game show by PragerU Kids. I'm Xavier, and in this show, if you answer the question fast and correctly, you avoid getting totally gross and messy. Joining us today, we've got... Kelsey. And... Karen. Before coming here, each of you read our PragerU Kids digital magazine about Abraham Lincoln from our website. Now we're going to see how much of it you remember. Here are your messes for today. Overripe banana mush. Blue slime. Marshmallow tar and feathers. Stinky fish jello. Toothpaste. Mystery eggs. Pickle juice spray. Hidden messes. And a pie in the face. Before we play, Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States from 1861 to 1865. He led the nation during one of its greatest crises, the Civil War. As president, Lincoln succeeded in keeping the Union together and ending slavery, so he is often referred to as the savior of the Union and the Great Emancipator. Tragically, he was the first president to be assassinated. Are you guys ready to play the game? Yeah! yeah. Awesome, the youngest player goes first. Simon says, put your hands on your head. Simon says, put your hands on your hips. Simon says, put your hands in the bowl. Take them out of the bowl. Oh, oh. I already got gotcha. you. Everybody, you must keep your hands in the bowl for the entire game. If you take them out, you do lose a point. Understood? Question number one goes to Kelsey. Abraham Lincoln was born in a log cabin in Kentucky and described his childhood as the short and simple annals of the blank. A, rich, B, poor, or C, middle class. B, poor. That is correct, poor. Abraham Lincoln came from a poor family. His father, Thomas, was a carpenter and backwoods frontier farmer. The family couldn't afford to send Abraham to college, so he taught himself by reading books. We can't have a good time without slime. <laughs> Do you like slime, Cameron? Yeah. Well, you're welcome then. Finally, <laughs> someone's grateful around here. And let's see, five, four, three, three and a half, two, one. <laughs> 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 How does it feel? Good. Good. Does it smell good? I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna turn you into Barney or something. It's so purple. <laughs> Next question goes to Cameron. As a young man, Lincoln studied to be a lawyer and loved politics. He became famous by participating in what kind of events with his rival Stephen Douglas? A. Debates. B. Chess tournaments. Or C. Wrestling matches. A. Debates. Correct. <laughs> debates. In 1858, Lincoln ran against Stephen Douglas to be a U.S. Senator from Illinois. They faced off in seven debates and discussed whether slavery should be allowed to expand across America. Although Douglas won the election, the debates made Lincoln famous as a passionate opponent of slavery. Speaking of debates, I was debating even giving this to you because it's really, really, really super duper gross. <laughs> you know what this is? Ooh, I can't even tell and I don't want to tell you. How does it look? There's only a few bugs in there. It's overripe banana mush. Oh, bananas? They used to be bananas, but now they're like worm food or something. Here you go. That's all we're gonna do. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel? Terrible. Terrible? Do you wish you had slime instead? I mean, it's, <laughs> it's kind of slimy. Next question goes to Kelsey. Lincoln was the first president from which party? The Whig party? Oh, that is actually incorrect. Let's see if Cameron can steal it. The Republican party? That is correct, the Republican party. Lincoln first supported the Whig party, but when that party collapsed, he joined the new anti-slavery Republican party. The Republicans chose John C. Fremont as their first presidential candidate in the 1856 election. Fremont lost, but in 1860, the party chose Lincoln as its candidate. Lincoln won the election and became the first Republican president. We got something for you here, Kelsey. You like marshmallows? Bananas and marshmallows sounds like a pretty good combination. We're getting too nice to you guys here. Look at that, it's beautiful. Want it in your hair? No. I'll just do your arms and see. <laughs> it's so sticky. <laughs> and a little bit on this arm. The flies are gonna love you. And just a little on your shirt. <laughs> Looks a little boring in there though. I think we should spice it up, don't you? Yeah, we should spice it up. 
Who can make the best chicken impersonation? <laughs> Do you like birds? Yes. Even in the morning where they're singing all loud? Yes. I'm glad somebody does. There we go. I'm gonna fly away with these feathers on me. <laughs> Next question goes to Cameron. Which war happened during Lincoln's presidency? A, Revolutionary War, B, Civil War, or C, World War I? Civil War? That is correct, the Civil War. Lincoln was elected president in 1860 and opposed the expansion of slavery. This angered the Southerners. On April 12, 1861, Southern forces attacked Fort Sumter. This led to the start of the Civil War. Nothing goes better with chicken and marshmallows and bananas than some nice stinky fish jello. An emphasis on the stinky part. Take a good whiff. Just a little bit. Does it smell good? I can't relate. I can't relate. <laughs> Ew. And bon appetit. Ew, I can smell it from over here. You can probably smell it at home too, can't you? <laughs> What's that sound? I don't know. I have no clue. That means it's time for a Patriot Pop Quiz. Now, you each get a chance to answer a trivia question about America that was not in your Abraham Lincoln Digital Magazine. But there's a twist. You will be blindfolded for your question and mess. <laughs> Patriot Pop Quiz question number one goes to Kelsey. What state in the United States has the smallest population? A, Alaska, B, Montana, or C, Wyoming? C, Wyoming? That is correct, Wyoming. Wyoming has the smallest population at 581,000 people. Vermont has the second smallest at 623,000 people. Alaska is third at 724,000. Take a whiff, see if you can guess what kind of eggs these are. <laughs> Have you ever smelt snake eggs before? Ew. <laughs> Ew. Oh no, they're hatching. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should mush them up. That way they don't hatch on you. <laughs> Wait, they're all eggs. No, they're not. Yeah, they have holes. Well, so do eggs when they hatch. <laughs> Patriot Pop Quiz question number two goes to Cameron. What is the name of the highest mountain in the United States? Mount Rushmore? Oh, that's a good guess, but that is incorrect. <gasps> Let's see if Kelsey can steal it. Any guesses? Time's up. The answer is Denali, also known as Mount McKinley. Denali, located in Alaska, is the highest mountain in the United States with a summit elevation of 20,310 feet. By contrast, the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest, has a summit elevation of 29,029 feet. Speaking of mountain, I think we have a mountain of grossness for you guys. I don't even know why I smell these things anymore. They always smell bad. <laughs> and just a little bit of mountain of grossness for you. And a little for you. And a little more for you. I'll keep your hands in the bowl. You don't want to lose a point. Your hands are getting close. You don't want to lose that point. No. Ew. I think it's oatmeal. <laughs> it's oatmeal. Well, let's take those blindfolds off and see what those messes are. Oh, yeah, it is oatmeal. Ew. Oatmeal and olives. You had good guesses. And now back to Abraham Lincoln. The next question is for Kelsey. Which document did Lincoln issue to free all slaves in the rebellious southern states? A, Declaration of Independence. B, Bill of Rights, or C, Emancipation Proclamation? A, Declaration of the Independence. That is incorrect. Let's see if Cameron can steal it. C, Emancipation Proclamation. That is correct, Emancipation Proclamation. 
On January 1, 1863, Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, which declared that all slaves in the rebelling states shall be thenceforward and forever free. He later supported the 13th Amendment, which ended slavery across the entire country. Since you have one of the stinkiest bowls ever, we're gonna give you something nice and minty. Did you brush your teeth today? Yes. Good. Ew. Smile. Yeah. Uh -uh. What, you don't like the dentist? No. I'm not a dentist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least it smells so much better now. And want a little bit on your hair? No. <laughs> Next question is for Cameron. In which famous speech did Lincoln declare that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth? Gettysburg Address. That is correct, the Gettysburg Address. Lincoln delivered his famous Gettysburg Address on November 19th, 1863, to dedicate a cemetery in honor of those who died during the Battle of Gettysburg the previous July. It became one of the most iconic speeches in American history. Lincoln declared that the Civil War would test whether a government of, by, and for the people, also known as Republican government, would survive. Sorry, Kelsey. I'm sorry too, Kelsey. Not really. Uh-oh. We got some mystery eggs for you. Are they fake or real? Oh, they're all real. They're not real, they're fake. We can't talk about Honest Abe and not be honest. What do you think? I don't know. Oh, they're real. No, they're fake. They're the real deal. No, they're fake. See, confetti. they're fake. Oh, confetti. They used to be real. I want the colorful bowl. Mine is just like gross and blue. Fine, I'll be nice. <laughs> In honor of Honest Abe. Next question is for Kelsey. Lincoln was the first president to be what? A, inaugurated. B, impeached, or C, assassinated? C, assassinated. That is correct, assassinated. On April 14, 1865, less than one week after the Civil War ended, John Wilkes Booth shot Lincoln at Ford's Theater during a performance of the play, Our American Cousin. Lincoln died the next day, the first president to be assassinated. To date, a total of four presidents, Lincoln, James Garfield, William McKinley, and John F. Kennedy have been assassinated. No. You don't like pickles? No. Well, you're in a pickle today. I don't want to be in a pickle. Pickle juice? No one wants to be in a pickle. I don't like being in a pickle. And Can I not have a pickle? You're getting a pickle. No. And you're getting the juice. No. Because you're getting the pickle juice spray. No. It's just the rule. No. Well, sometimes when you're in a pickle, no, you smell no. like pickles too. It just happens. Ah! Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> you don't like the pickle juice? No. You must accept the pickle juice. Get full of pickle. No, no, don't give me a pickle. Don't give me a pickle. Let's get, get on pickle. your arms. You're gonna smell like pickles forever. No. <laughs> get full of pickle. Three, two, one, kaplunge. Ew. <laughs> it disappeared. Oh, there it goes. I'm gonna. Can you break it? No. Oh, that's a really. Ah! Oh. <laughs> you want some pickle juice? No. <laughs> and now it's time for the final question, and this is an important one. Whoever gets this one wrong gets a pie in the face. But there's another twist. You must hit your buzzer first in order to answer the question. Understood? Understood. What title have Americans not given to Abraham Lincoln? A, father of his country, B, savior of the union, or C, great emancipator? C, great emancipator? That is incorrect. Um. Kelsey, can you seal this one? There's a pie on the line. A father of his country. That is... Correct! A father of his country. By winning the Civil War, Lincoln successfully preserved the Union. By issuing the Emancipation Proclamation and supporting the 13th Amendment, he helped to end slavery in the United States. For these accomplishments, he is often called the Savior of the Union and the Great Emancipator. George Washington is the president known as the father of his country. <sighs> you know, I really don't get enough credit here. My baking is getting better every episode. You see how beautiful this pie is? First, we gotta hook it up with a little whipped cream. Keep on going. 
Keep going? Yeah. Keep going. Keep More. Going. Yeah. Until it's all gone. Look. Really? Look. The whole yeah. can? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's falling. Wait, no. It's falling. You're going to be eating this whipped cream forever. I'm not even pressing it anymore. Oh, well. Hmm. I guess that's all. A lot of sprinkles? Yeah. A whole bunch of sprinkles. Yeah, yes, a lot for her. Did your parents approve of all this sugar? I don't know. Well, they did sign the waiver. <laughs> Pie time. May I get a countdown, please? Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one! one. <laughs> <laughs> How does it taste? Here's what we learned. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States. He was a member of the Republican Party and led the nation during the Civil War. As president, he preserved the Union and ended slavery. Sadly, Lincoln was the first president to be assassinated, but he is remembered as one of America's greatest leaders. The winner of our five-point star and American flag trophy is Cameron. On our flag, red stands for courage, white is for purity, and blue is for justice and perseverance. Our flag is a worldwide symbol for freedom. It belongs to all Americans together as one through our differences. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah. For being such great sports, both of you are going home with gifts from our PragerU store. And we hope you learned something too. For more fun, visit us at PragerUKids.com and enjoy all of our digital magazines and shows. Now, shake hands. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> and give each other a high five. <laughs> <laughs> and dare I ask, in honor of Honest Abe, one for me too. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.